Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Flawless Garage. On today's episode, we are doing something very exciting, something very different. It is not car related, but it does have an engine. We are working on a boat console. I have uh, some custom fiberglass work to do. I have to mount a fish finder GPS, an offshore radio, and a standard radio. I have a ton of holes to fill. It's gonna be a really, really fun project. I've talked with the customer. Uh, I have a general idea of what I need to do. I have kind of free reign to do the custom fiberglass work. Uh, I think it's gonna come out pretty cool, the idea that I have in my head, and I'm gonna try to walk you through it step by step. I'm not as rushed this time, so I could film a lot more and get more in detail with you. So, for those out there who would like to do some custom fiberglass work, this is the video for you. It sounded like a game show host. Come on in to Flawless Garage, and we're gonna build you a custom boat console today. <laughs> hmm. Alrighty then, so the very first thing that I need to do is prep my work areas for what I need. This roller toolbox um, is kind of a mess, and I could say it's like that for good reason, because whatever tools I need, I just go ahead and put those tools specifically on there, and I could roll it around for whenever I need it. So, like for this project, I'm going to need a right angle grinder, um, I might need my clip tool remover, love this little thing and um, yeah so I'm going to go ahead and probably load it up with a bunch of sandpaper my sanding blocks I've got some grinding disc down inside there actually whoops this thing does not pick up red too much look at this $10 LED light Walmart boom all the colors you could ever want Ooh, let's go I like that light blue there we go By loading up the toolbox, you save yourself a lot of hassle. Take all the stuff off from the last job that you're not going to need. Load the stuff for this job that you're going to need. Well, I should say us because we are going to walk through doing this together. The mounting position that I came up with uh, for the fish GPS. Let me pop this guy off. Alrighty. So, the steering wheel sits right here so you're going to be standing at this roughly about here or so and instead of having this guy totally flat I'm going to cock it at an angle so it's more driver operator sailor captain so it's more captain worthy there we go so I'm gonna do something like this which complicates things a little bit but in the end, it is going to make it look absolutely fantastic. So, let's get to the time lapse of getting all my uh, stations ready so we can fiberglass this bad boy. Check this bad boy out. Carved it when I was bored. I'd like to get into wood turning or something. Did it all with a razor blade. And I've got so many projects right now, I, I can't finish that. So, here is the final product. 
the glue gun because you'll need that for making the form to make your uh, your custom fiberglass enclosure. Rolls of I use personally. This is uh, sticky back paper called PSA. It sticks. It sticks to these blocks. That's what it's designed for. And PSA means pressure sensitive adhesive. The harder you press, the more it sticks. Some tape, razor blades to cut the mat, tape measure to measure out the, um, well obviously the length of the templates and everything that I'm going to need. Got a uh, right angle grinder and an air saw. All my sandpaper that I need. 40 grit, my blocks, a rasp, cheese grater, DA paper, wire brush to clear clogs. Um, grinder disc and then down below I have my DA's hammer pliers some assorted stuff that I may or may not need and that's a pretty good setup and over here over here I have my glue sticks they've been sitting for quite some time and also what you're gonna want to do is have yourself a table that you can lay your fiberglass down on and cut it and soak it you throw some paper down first then you don't have to worry about the table uh, you know trying to remove stuff and it being stuck to the table it'll just be stuck to the paper and you'll be able to take it off uh, fairly easily so that's a, a good thing to do is mask off your surface that you're going to use I have some fiberglass cloth this stuff conforms the surfaces really easy it's uh, very flexible and this is what you want to use oops or complex curves or just what have you this here is called fiberglass chop mat and it is much thicker it doesn't bend around a complex curve you see it creases that stuff will not this is heavy duty and this is what you should be using to reinforce any type of fiberglass work then after most of the fiberglass work is done I have this stuff which is, well, just like you see there, sandable glass fiber. It's essentially um, what you guys might be used to if you're doing this on the cheap cheap, is this here, this Bondo glass. It's kind of the same thing, but just it's a really good version. If you could spend the money, get this stuff. It seals up, it's definitely way more watertight, even though all fiberglass should be. This stuff is very porous. It's uh, prone to air bubbles. This here is really good shit. My Ninja filler to put over top of all of it. Standard cleaning station, mixing station, squeegees, hardener. All right, so the reason I'm showing you this is even though it's a boat and you might not be interested, for any of you viewers out there who have ever been interested in fiberglass work, making a custom amp rack or a sub box, this is the exact same process from start to finish. You might as well, for an audio guy out there, just consider this an amp. Just look at this as a small amp and I'm making a small amp rack for it essentially. You could take this same process, use it to make anything you want for your car, and if you follow my methods, it will turn out flawless. I have really extremely basic stuff. And at first I was embarrassed to even have it on camera, but you know what, if I can use that basic stuff and come out with a job that's basically flawless. I wanna share that because there's so many other people that are in the exact same place that I am that would really appreciate this. To cut out a piece of wood that comes from here, rectangle, rectangle. And then I'll make sides for that that hold it into place firmly, hot glue everything because it's the fastest and easiest way. And then I will, I'm going to take this, this hummingbird whatever this gadget is because I do not fish. I know, right? So after I make the base plates, I'm going to set up the hummingbird how I want it. And that's the kind of tricky part. I gotta take it and find, I gotta find stuff to put underneath of it to prop it up in the exact angle I want it to be. And once I figure that out, then I can cut out wood that matches the, the face of this.
All right, so on to making the templates. This is fairly straightforward. Just get yourself some cardboard, but it has to be, uh, you want it to be exact. There is a frog that my dog will not quit chasing. Come here, Blitzen. Go, have fun. She's been chasing this frog for 20 minutes. They're just best of friends. something like that. 